Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to my huge channel, everybody. Today, I want to show you some pieces that I got myself that I got gifted and I want to show you a few styling looks. If some of you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen that I also uh, did something with LCDC, which is a brand based in Seoul. It's an amazing brand and um, I can only recommend you to have a look at their items if you are into, into sporty pieces and also elegant pieces. And you know, I very often talk about the thing that you need to find your personality and you need to be very aware of your personality and create like the styling according to that and you should stick to that and not follow too many trends. And I think this is a really nice brand that like combines both of my aesthetics, which is like on the one hand being very sophisticated, clean, not too many accessories even. And on the other hand, I just like to be very sporty sometimes, but like in an exaggerated way, like um, in a more distinct way and also combining it with other pieces, trying to create a clash. So I'm going to start with my first look. Funny joke about this one. I actually am wearing the pants backwards which is an accident, but I just realized it looks good, better. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. I started with the jacket that is part of it. I love, absolutely love the jacket because it's slightly cropped, which I like to be honest, because I like to have long pants. All my pants are too long. That's why they are always waiting to get to the tailor. I found a good Turkish tailor in Paris. If you're looking for someone, he can do everything. Like I got my Jill Zander pants, which are three sizes too big, perfectly tailored. So this I would absolutely wear for going out, to be honest. So you have this jacket. It has a very crispy fabric, which I love. I love the clashing blue with the black and white. It gives you a bit the vibe of a very famous Spanish old heritage house that is owned by Caring right now. I think you know what I mean. And But what I liked here is like I would combine these, for example, with very pointy. You might know my beautiful Essex boots. I literally never worn them. Like that's very me. I love shoes and I love crazy shoes that's why i said always buy crazy pieces don't go for the uniform guys it's easy to build up a uniform it's not as hard don't watch all those videos how to build it up but how to break uniforms is something that is way harder so i started with these very uh interesting essex witchy boots that everybody probably hates uh but i love them and i love the clash like these i can also wear with a short usually like with short skirts or something but i also like to just hide it and have the look here with like joggers on top. I will, I will wear it the other way around as well, but I think it's a pretty cool look and you can wear like a very classy coat over it. So I have this old vintage Bri Brioni coat, like not that I would ever buy a Brioni coat and get in there and get myself a coat, but this is something I borrowed from someone. So I would also wear it like this, you know, to make it a bit more clashy, to turn it a bit more sophisticated, maybe even, you know, to break the ice a bit. I literally cannot put my hands in the pockets because I wear it the other way around, but I think it's super funny. And honestly, I would go out like this, like anytime, anywhere. I think it's pretty funny. And that's the main aim, you know, you, it, it should be like a joke, but a good joke. Like it should be a joke that people laugh about and then be like, oh my God, it's fucking good. So. This is one of my favorite looks. I think it's great, easily to combine. And I'm going to show you how you can combine like the other pieces as well, because I have some other pieces from LCDC as well. I bought myself some Prada pieces too that I will show you as well how to style them. So this is one look number one. Look number two, I kept on the jacket, but what I also love is to combine it with good wool pants. And this is also the LCDC wool pant. For me, it is perfect. I'm 165. It's crazy because I will not have to tailor these pants. I love the way they shine. If you see the fabric like up close, I love it when the wool gives me a slight shine as well, you know? Since the wool pants are a bit more serious, more sophisticated, I think it's great to break the ice with this one. And I would, these are not my sneakers, that's why they're a bit too big, but I would combine them like with Adidas or Essex sneakers to make it more sporty. But I think like this is a look I would definitely wear. Maybe this is a bit too much for me, but you know, like you can combine the pieces so easily with each other. That's what I love, like the combination of sporty and chic and still like elevated and it's a great 
Running errands look, to be honest, while still looking a bit more interesting than what you usually wear. I also tend to wear the usual stuff all the time, but I think this is pretty nice and I really love the quality of the jacket. I love the voice that it makes and this is a size S and it fits perfectly. So I'm not a petite girl, I would say, but if you have a struggle with arm lengths, which I usually have, and especially also if it's Balenciaga pieces, as much as I love them, a size S is usually way too big for me. This is perfect and I think it makes you like have also a good, um, it gives you a nice silhouette, you know, without being like too exaggerated. So the jacket is absolutely a plus. And the second set that I got myself, I selected the pieces. I requested them, so just that you know I got them gifted, but I asked for them because I absolutely loved them on the shoot. And they were so kind to send them to me. And I just love it. And the pants are amazing. And I'm gonna show you now how the pants look like with the according upper piece. This is look number three now, I guess. So this is like the according set, I would say. Uh, it's with the blazer and everybody who knows me knows that I'm slightly addicted to blazers as well, especially the cropped versions uh, or the overlong versions. But this is again, like it's the same wool fabric as the pant. I really love this little accessory here, like the little clip, even though I'm absolutely not an accessory fan when it comes to anything and logos. I think this is a very smart way of making a logo. It also reminds me a bit of the label of Well Done, if you know it, which is also Korean and insane. So I think this is a cute set as well. You could also uh, not be like me and wear actually something underneath. Honestly, if you go out late at night somewhere, it's okay to wear like a bralette, but usually I would wear like a crew neck, like a cropped crew neck underneath. I would again wear this with definitely sporty shoes to bring it back down. If you wear this like with my Essex boots, it might be a bit, I don't like it when it's like too wannabe posh girl kind of style. So I would wear it like this. The pants again, they fit pretty much perfectly. The jacket as well, like it just fits very much. And it's very much my aesthetic, I would say. Um, yes, I think it's a great combination. And I think they give you a good silhouette. You have shoulder, like very slight shoulder pad here as well. So you have a bit stronger shoulders and the fabric is really beautiful. I think it's a great combination and a good set. And it's a way better alternative to all the fast fashion ones. You really feel the difference in the fabric. Uh, it is a piece to me, like even this little detail, and I'm a person of details, as you know, like it's very much the, the little things, you know, items can even convince me with the way that they're stitched, with the way that you see a single drape or something. And this is really something where I thought, okay, this is cute. This is the kind of accessory I can handle. I think black shoes actually are pretty much perfect under it. I would also wear these with my white Essex that I have. Uh, that would go amazing without looking too Scandinavian because this is something I very much fear. Uh, I'm not too much a fan of the Scandinavian looks because it looks very much styled. So the main purpose for me is always to not look styled in the manner of I thought uh, I sat somewhere and thought too much about the way I dress, which I of course do. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't think about it. It just means you did something wrong if something looks too styled because it looks artificial. It doesn't look like your personality, it doesn't look authentic. And if you want to appear authentic, which is your persona, I hope, if you're an authentic person, it should look a bit more natural. And this is something you need to create and this is something you need to think about as well when you start pieces. So this is look number four. As you can see, I kind of reuse the same items all the time and I feel like you still have a slightly different look, but still the same kind of aesthetic. And I love to break the ice, you know, with like a cashmere coat or a wool coat, take anything you have. I think this is something you can easily buy in vintage clothes because it needs to be a bit oversized. It should definitely not be fitted, but I'm very much sure you're aware of that. I turned the joggers the other way around this time. So I have the white stripes on the front and the white shirt, like this is a very tiny, tiny. I wanted, this is the shirt I actually bought because I wanted to wear it at the beach so I don't burn. But actually I just realized it has a perfect fit. It's, it's very tight. I like that it looks a bit 70s. I think this is from weekday, I'm not sure. I wear the Asa DC joggers again, like in the crispy fabric, which I love. I wear like random sneakers underneath. You can literally wear anything, not something too colored, I would say, like you should stay with this. But it's literally like these joggers, a good t-shirt, a good coat, some sunglasses since I love sunglasses. These are, I think, vintage. And this is like a look I would go to the city with the whole day, meet my friends, go for coffee, look casual, but still 
In my opinion, this still looks kind of chic because it's elevated. It's not just taking a suit like it is and just wearing it. It's really like changing items, changing aesthetics with each other. And yeah, I just love the way it looks. And if you wear like a good handbag with it around my arm, I think the look is pretty much set. And this is the way I usually style. So this is why so many people tell me like, you must have so many pieces in your wardrobe. It's not that much, I have to say, in the pieces I wear daily. I will do a video about the pieces I wear the most because I think this could also be helpful for you. It's absolutely not about the brands, but about um, what you combine and what the silhouette of the, of the items are. But this is like literally my day-to-day -day look. I think it looks pretty casual. This is definitely not something I would maybe go for a dinner in the evening with, but in Paris, in any city, it's a very casual, and in my opinion, cool look, a laid back look, not too serious. Don't take yourself ever too serious. Try out new things. That's why I love the brand LCDC, I have to admit, because I could not find these kind of pieces anywhere else. Either it was crazy overpriced, uh, where I was like, okay, I don't, I don't see the need to participate in that trend if it's like reusing a very old trend that I can very easily find somewhere else, but haha, I could not find it very easily somewhere else. But honestly, I love these joggers and the jacket as well. If you like the same kind of silhouette, it will work perfectly. Um, yes, and these are the looks that I would style that I received from LCDC. Uh, it's amazing. They have crazy stores. Please check out their Instagram and their online shop. You see their sto stores in Seoul. And I really like architecture as well, interior arch architecture as well. And I feel like you really get to understand what a brand is up to if you, if you see it. have a look at their stores as well. Like for example, I cannot enter Jack Mu stores. You know, it's, it's not because it's lovely and positive and I appear like I don't like anything that is happy. That's not the case. It's just like, it doesn't look very authentic to me. It looks like artificial happiness to me. Even though I know Simon is a very happy person. I heard that from several people. Look, please have a look at Seoul. If you look in Seoul and look at the stores, you will be like, okay, we are 10 years back. Like we need to do much more to come closer to, to Korea. This is why I like it and recommend it. And I'm not getting anything from this. It's just pure goodwill, pure goodwill. So this is the last look I styled with the new pieces that I bought. Um, you might know I have a slight addiction from Mucha. I, I emphasize the Mucha in Prada. I got myself from the broken arm a pair of jeans shorts because I think they're so versatile. I'm actually not a jeans girl. Everybody that watched my previous videos knows that I'm not good at that. But these I really like because again of their shape, they're slightly flared at the end. I can wear them like super chic with these socks. You can get these socks everywhere and makes the look, in my opinion, look very Prada. But I also got myself these shoes from the Fall 22 collection. So it's of course some rough inside as well. What I like about these is they're gold, but they don't appear very gold. It looks a bit like they're blackish as well. And if it has a reflection, it looks more black. So usually people think they're either white or black from afar. And they have this Mary Jane stripe here, which makes me stay in the shoe. I have very, I would say I have long and thin feet, which means I cannot wear pumps or anything. I always slip out. I cannot even wear ballerinas, nothing, because my feet always slip out of the shoe. These feel like I'm wearing boots. They don't give you the feeling of wearing, having a height at all. Still, you have like a good eight centimeters, I would say, but they just feel like my boots that I wear, but I have a great fit inside. The jeans, I just love them. I have to say, I was a bit concerned about the logo because, you know, it's it's a logo. It's okay on the shoes, it's funny because shoes are funny. But on clothing, I'm not a big fan of it, but I think it's very subtle. I usually wear something like this. This is the sweater I bought from Matches Fashion from their own label, which is Rae. And it is a alpaca sweater, the best ever. I think they haven't remade it. I'm crying every winter because I want to have it. I will probably not buy it in several colors, to be honest, because this is like my most favorite color, which is navy. But I would have preferred like one in 
another navy tone for example so this is a look where i think like okay two brand the same brand in one look works well together again like break the silhouette a bit with something oversized on top i think this is something that men can wear just as well maybe with different shoes or the same shoes like go for it socks that you can get anywhere and create the sweet look from uh, prada and that's it this is like a very sweet spring look i would say and that's about it so I hope you like these looks. I try to do this more and more often because I have a lot of pieces in my wardrobe that I haven't really shown yet. But if you like this kind of content, I could also integrate it more and more, give you tips about personal styling as well. Whatever you like, please let me know down in the comments. Also for men's, I would love to talk more about men's as well because I feel like there is a big need and I would like to help here or give tips here or whatever. Please don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me a lot. And um, yeah, see you to the next one. I'm going for lunch break. Bisous